Hi, this is Jeremy, the Customer Success Manager at TownWeb. In this video, we're going to look at how to modify existing pages using Page Builder through your dashboard. Let's get started. Now we're going to navigate to the left side of the page and click on Modify Existing Page, where we can edit or modify any of the pages in our website. So first thing we'll see is this list of the total number of pages that we have on our website, which is 18 in this case. Now if you have more than 20 pages, it's uh, often easier to, to search for the page rather than scrolling through a number of different uh, uh, pages. You can only view 20 at a time in this window. So let's look for town. So we can find the town board. We're gonna edit the town board. Let's navigate over to the right side of the page and click Modify with Page Builder. That's going to open the page and on the top of the page you'll see a white header, a white banner, which reads Currently Editing Page and it'll tell us the name of the page that we're editing. On the right side we'll see a blue plus symbol and a Done button. We'll talk more about those in a little bit. So if we hover over any of the pieces of of information here we can see that it creates a blue rectangle around it that means that we can edit that particular uh, module we'll click there and we can open the text editor and then we can just edit what we need to here so let's just say we want to change this one a bit we'll call it chairperson I don't want that to have a bullet point so we'll Remove the bullet point, and let's put a name here, John Smith. And again, we don't want a bullet point. Actually, on none of these do we want a bullet point, so let's just undo that. And let's put a phone number for John Smith. Let's say, okay. And then let's just say this is an email address and put an at dot com here. And what you notice is that it's actually happening in real time on the page. So we can see how it looks as we're editing it. So once we're happy with what changes we've made, we can click save. But even now, it's not actually uh, saved to the uh, to the website. You'll notice that we're still in the editor here, so uh, we can continue to make changes. Uh, if we wanted to add things like um, to add a photo, for instance, we can go to the blue plus symbol and then drag and drop the photo module here, and then we can upload a photo from our our computer or from our media library. So let's just choose any random photo for the purpose of demonstration. Now if that were a photo of a person, it would be too large. So we can click on the, the size there and let's try medium. Let's see how medium looks. It's still a little bit big. So let's do a thumbnail, 150 by 150. And we can click save there. And now you have a photo of the person who is on your town board. Once we're finished, we can come up and click the blue done button. And we have three options here. We can either discard, which will just completely throw away all the changes that we've made. We can save as draft, which will just save the changes that we've made to allow us to come back and edit it in the future. Or we can click publish, which will actually publish the changes that we've made to the internet. And that is the page builder. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions or concerns, please contact our support team at support@townweb.com or via phone or directly through your dashboard by clicking create a support ticket. Thank you.